today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. has this teed up ready to get started and we are underway from AT&T Stadium now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop it's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. The Dak going to start out going to the air. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Second and ten. <laughs> to throw is Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. Five yards, now it's third and five. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Prescott. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy. It's not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Following the interception, Love. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Love looking to throw it. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. 
Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. To throw now. Here's Love. The left side completion to Jones. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got us a turnover? <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Again, it's Love. This is caught. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. The opening drive, it continues, Charles, to be all pass, and it's working. Now they're on the doorstep of a touchdown here, first and goal. Brandon, because it's working so well, I think the entire playbook is open for them right now. Do you want to run it? Do you want to continue to throw it? Spin the dial. Make your choice. But right now, you like what you're doing in this possession. Jones is in. Touchdown, Packers. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So that drive spanned five plays. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. How about the timing on that one, where they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. Now Dak on the option left. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the jet sweep, they get this to Cooks. 
And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Prescott to throw it. Left side to Lamb. So the completion good for seven there. And that will bring up second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Looking to throw, Prescott. Open man, the tight end, Luke Schoonmaker. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 18. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Second and nine. Now Prescott. On the left side, Gallup's got it. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they didn't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it six points on the board. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Pollard. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. And no move to take the offense on the field. They're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth and goal. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and goal, and they punch it in for the touchdown. We always talk about how football is a game of confidence, and that's how you get it right there. Leave your offense out there and tell them I believe in you. And they pay it off with six points. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's capped off with a Cowboys touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's a one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Well, right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's Love. And Jones has it over the middle. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Ready, ready, 
These two teams all tied after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Here now, third and a yard. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Love. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 44. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle yeah. him. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. Love now. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage, so they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. And I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Those are the ones you dream of as defenders. I think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier, he might come away with it. Instead, it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Throwing, love. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Another one to CeeDee Lamb. He's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll throw again. Prescott. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. Touchdown. Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Oh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Aubrey now for the point after. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Short throw, he's got Kraft. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Okay, From the 33, here's a second and eight. 
An inside give to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And they'll send Watson in motion right. Oh, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Second down, Prescott. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? First down, love to pass. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. First down, going to the air with Love. Dancing to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. The love throw brought in by Watson, and he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Flood. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. And CD, that's the second time this half they've put it on the carpet. Now, the first one they lost. Good news here, it doesn't cost them. They do say that things even out in the course of a ball game, so you mentioned they lost the first one. This time, able to retain possession, but they can't get into this habit. The ball can't continue to go on the ground. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. 
That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And third and one now. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On third and one, love to throw. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. Well, still some climbing left to do to get back to even, but forcing a turnover and getting the field goal there, that's a small step toward erasing the early deficit. Absolutely. That interception field goal, that's the beginning of what they hope will be several steps towards erasing that deficit and building a lead of their own by the time this game is over. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Kevonte Turpin now to return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one. Able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott now. Going right back to Ferguson. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown coverage. Second down and eight. To the air again, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now 
Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On that snap, he's a hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Here's Prescott. Being chased, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys would extend their lead here just before halftime. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Aubrey now for the PAT. It's good, and it's 21-10. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. Time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Cowboys were treated to a fine first half from number four quarterback Dak Prescott. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter, but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. Now is second and ten. On the delay, Jones. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. 
early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Love. Throw out left, and it's intercepted. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Prescott from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw again. Buying time to his left. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw here. Here's a screen now for Pollard. They'll get to him just inside the 15 yard line. And even after that fancy footwork we saw, good job defensively to recover. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. This second and four. Here's Prescott. Pollard here once again. Back-to-back -back catches. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard.
They'll run with Pollard. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in, and he carries it across the goal line. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Again, it's Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Well, we know he has pretty good hands on display there. In fact, he only needed one of them. Yeah, nowadays, all these receivers work on this, right? They do the one-handed catches off the machine in practice. They do it with their quarterbacks. They do it contested, uncontested. They make it part of their repertoire. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Second and seven. To the air again, Love. That's taken in by the tight end, Josiah DeGuara. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Let's go now. 33, yellow. Anthony's trapped. Let's go. By 14, by 14. Cut, cut. Now a first down carry by Jones. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. 
Two yards, the loss, second and 12. You got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. They'll go again to Jones. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27 yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives but when you're down what they are they've got to pay it off with some points. This Ready? offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Love looking to throw it. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And his kick is good. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Dallas offense set for this next drive. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. <laughs> I say, run the football, you've got the lead. But let's watch it and find out who's right. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Prescott to throw it. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A first down throw for Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and two. Now Prescott. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. 
I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Prescott on third and two. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, Prescott. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before. And I always admire play callers. They see a play that works and go right back to it. So they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Prescott yet again. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second and goal from the one. Dak's going to keep it. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Cowboys have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football keep converting and picking up first downs and if the drive ends in three points that's terrific if it ends in a touchdown fantastic Aubrey now for the PAT and he's been a busy man five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead that time a nine play drive and it was all capped off by Dak Prescott keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. 
He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Here's Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Throwing. Love. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Good gain there on first down, and keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him, ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the pick up, first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Here's second and five now from the 37. Here's Pollard again. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Pollard, he'll take it up the gut. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Second down and three. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them just a field goal. 
that's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.